Check it out. This is Star Power Entertainment, and I'm here with the one and only Jordan Lucas. What you know about Jordan Lucas? All up in the streets to the flood, to the base, to the you running down motherfucking tunnel. Yeah. What you know about the cops on the corner trying to knock a nigga? Jordan Lucas, we finally get to meet. Finally. Finally. Now, you've been up to some things. Um, I remember when I first heard about you, and this is what's really cool, because he didn't push me his music. Please listen to my mixtape. I found it organically. Mm -hmm. I believe it was in real life, right? Yep. Where, and what stuck to me about that video so much is that Joyner, in the beginning of the video, before he drops any lyrics, he takes some Cheerios, pours it on this nice <laughs> Cadillac, and gets some milk, and pours milk on the Cadillac. And then from there, he had me hooked. I want to learn more about this dude. And then, I mean, your buzz has been growing like crazy. Right. Can you tell me what it's been like from that video? I think that was, what, fall 2013 yeah. to now? Um, pretty much, man. From that point on, you know, I signed my contract with Dead Silence, um, and we just been moving. You know, we... Um, and putting a lot of a uh, lot of records out on the blogs you know got a couple dope features uh, got the single out you know it's, it's been on mtv you know vh1 um i'm on pandora now music choice nice know, and now i'm here with star power star power star power star power star power you know there you go yeah so you said you had a couple features on there what do you have I, I heard through the wire that you had Sebastian Michael. I had Sebastian Michael on um, She Knows. Shout out to Sebastian Michael. I had um, I got Busy Signal, obviously, on Riding Solo. Um, I had a record with Trade the Truth, um, which is a dope record. And um, I got something, something else special in the works for y'all. Right, and you mentioned that you signed to Dead Silence. Talk more about that. Who's Dead Silence? Um, where are they from? How did you get signed? What is that deal like? Yeah, Dead Silence is an independent company. Um, in which me and my business partner own. So we pretty much, you know, started a company. And, um, yeah, so we, we pretty much based out of Massachusetts. And, um, yeah, we ended up, you know, getting, you know, getting some things popping. Right, so <laughs> Dead Silence. Yeah. What's the inspiration behind that name? Like, Don't Snitch or It's Over For You? <laughs> nah. <laughs> Dead Silence, I mean, what, what, what's the inspiration behind that? I mean, I was my, right. my it's, no 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 my inspiration behind it besides that my okay, inspiration right. behind it is you know I don't like people who brag like even musically I don't like mm -hmm. brag like I stay away from that and like the name was so perfect because I just feel like humbleness you know keeping quiet you know about mm -hmm. what you got about what you're doing you know what I'm saying I just feel like if you just just remain humble and just keep quiet and move on a low and make things happen, I feel like, you know, that's that's the way of life. That's the way to go. And I've always been like anti brag. That's a really grown up way to look at it. Nice. Anti, you know. I, I appreciate that. You know, so I it, know fans can appreciate that yeah, too, for yeah, sure. Yeah. So that's that 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 was the um one of the main reasons why I fell in love with the name. So this has always been in the works yeah, for you. Like you've always, been dreaming about this. Always, always. There's there's no plan B. This is it. That's it. There's no backup plan. There's no college. There's mm -hmm. no job lined up. Did That's you ever it. think about college or a job plan? Like, did, <laughs> did, did you ever have a moment where you thought, like, Dad, everyone's rapping. How am I going to? Yep, definitely. And what dug you out of that to triumph and rise and say, no, I'm going to pursue my dream? I got a job, and I didn't like it. Mm. <laughs> and what job is that? Telemarketer? I was, wa I was washing <laughs> dishes. I was washing dishes at some... At some <laughs> Japanese restaurant <laughs> called Sushi Su. I swear, I'll never forget it, in Tampa, Florida. And when I did that, this is before I had, I had this vision. Like, I wanted to go to school, and then mm -hmm. I went, because, you know. And then when I started working at this restaurant, I'm like, all right. Like, where I can work my way up, and then I can become a chef. And then I started Oh, so you cook? Huh? Yeah, I cook a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. So that was, it. so at the time, that backup plan was to be like, Oh, I'm going to work my way up. I'm going to be a chef. Yeah, yeah. But then after I was like, I was just like, nah, man. I'm just sitting there like washing dishes like, nah, man. I can't do it. I'm too, I can't. Because mm -hmm. like from a child, like I've always wanted this. Right. I ain't going to go out like that. Mm -hmm. I can't Yo. go out being like, you know what I mean? The dude who <laughs> washed dishes for a living. Yeah. You know, with all this talent. Like I just can't do that. So I said, you know, I'm going to jump. And I'm going to just put all my eggs in one basket and I'm going to go for it. And now. It's, it's amazing. I feel like shedding a tear because I, I remember being in that kitchen and now I'm sitting right here in the offices of Star Power. What would you say to yourself now? What would you say to yourself now mm -hmm. to that Jordan Lucas who was washing dishes 
as Shushi Sue. Sushi Sue, yeah. Shushi Sue. What would you say to him right now if you can go back to that time? Nigga! I don't, yo, that's a good question. I don't even know. I'd say so much to myself. I would say so much. I, I'd probably tell myself, like, just be patient. Just be patient, you know? Nothing, one thing I learned from this is that nothing happens overnight. Everything is a process, you know? So, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a really impatient guy. Really, I want, mm-hmm. you know, I want things done. I need it done now. I need this to come out here. I need to go get that. Like, I'm just one of those dudes that just right. cannot stay in one place. Mm-hmm. And I just wasn't being patient. But now I realize that you have to be patient in this game. So I was patient enough to wait for what I built now. And I'm just happy to be here. And there's no turning back. There's no turning back now. There's no plan B. There's no plan B. There's Yo, no I, plan I, B. I, I really hope you blow the hell up. I hope I, it, like. Man. I believe in you, dude. I mean, ever like I said, ever since I saw him pour Cheerios on the Cadillac, yeah. he caught my eye, and I just had a follow up, and now here we are, about a year and a half later, doing the interview finally yeah. in New York City. This is dope, man. This is amazing. I love it. 